Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you the new look of Windows 10 Insider Preview where Microsoft decided to switch a few things a bit. First I want to start with showing you some graphical improvements that Microsoft decided to bring into the anniversary upgrade or update of the Windows 10 uh, and this is now included in the Insider Preview. I'm not sure where exactly do they plan to release it. Uh, I, I hope it's going to be soon because there are a lot of improvements not only in the graphical interface but in the general um, feel and design of how the product reacts and looks. So uh, the first thing that I noticed is uh, it's the old Windows 10 uh, login screen but when you click somewhere to log in it's now integrated directly with uh, the, um, the the login uh, the, 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 the place where you put your credentials to log into the system so uh, it looks really more natural it uh, it looks better in general and when you log in straight away there are a few things that uh, will uh, will show up on your screen and will be different from the one that you've used to see so uh, I'm not going to talk about every single component and what was improved because there are a lot of things I mean Microsoft announced that they've managed to fix more than one one uh, um, thousand and 800 bucks which is really amazing I'm not sure if it's true uh, they can uh, from time to time they can be over exaggerating but uh, I was not able to play around m that much with the new insider preview to see what's uh, what's new and what's being improved and if I like it personally but the um, the thing that I've uh, noticed which which is really great is the the they've um, added a new feature a new improvement to the activation process of windows 10 and a lot of you uh, who uh, went to the road to upgrade their uh, computers from 7 or 8 to windows 10 notice that there are a lot of problems with uh, the um, activation of windows 10 and not always it happens straight away like we like it to be so Microsoft decided to include a troubleshooter which is I think is really great and I will just open the start menu you see that there are a lot of changes being done on the graphical interface of the start menu uh, not sure why but Microsoft decided to start expanding the, the, the graphical menu once again um, I hope that they are not going to bring back the metro style uh, graphical uh, start menu which I really really didn't like in the uh, Windows 8 and uh, later in Windows Server 2012 so I really like that they've decided to stick back and a lot of people uh, they, they gave negative feedback for the Metro style start menu and uh, that's why in Windows 10 they decided to bring back the old start menu which is really handy and it, it helps people with uh, doing a lot of stuff so now uh, if I go to the settings and if I go to upgrade security and security you will see that there are a lot of different things um, visual things I mean they've decided to uh, bring it bring up uh, a lot of features that were um, on the background with the older uh, versions of Windows 10 and uh, if I if I go to the bottom right side of the screen you will see that de they decided to bring the notification bar and it's a little bit different from the one that we've uh, seen on the current version but the most important thing is the activation process here I'm using a test machine just to see how it feels how it looks and it's not activated at the moment I'm just performing some tests but I wanted to share this with you and they've made this I think it's going to be really straightforward and simple for the end user to go ahead and if they don't have a CD key for Windows 10 they can go to the store buy a Windows 10 CD and um, it will be 
straight away activated and if you already have a CD key if you bought it um, somewhere offline you can go ahead and just um, enter the CD key right here and it will be activated and right here is the feature that I want to show you the troubleshooter which is I think it's really handy but there is another uh, catch-up from Microsoft that you need to know about um, basically what they want to do is they want to link your Microsoft account because you know that from now on and from the Windows 10 there was the possibility to for you to use and log in with your Microsoft ID or Microsoft account that you have so if you don't have a Microsoft account of course you can use an offline this is the account that I'm using right now at the moment um, for Nick but um, if I decide to link my Microsoft account this will be available for me so um, a lot of people had the problems where they've upgraded to Windows 10 but something happened to their hard drive or the motherboard and when they changed the, the failed part with a new one uh, the Windows is not working after that it's saying that it's not activated because it was, it was digitally signed but to a different device and if a hardware component was changed for some reason uh, the Windows will detect that there was a change and it will say that you're not using a genuine Windows even though that you have the proper CD key and you did a proper upgrade it's just there was a, the, the problem where some, some component for example a hard disk or a motherboard failed so Microsoft uh, heard our voices and they decided to add this troubleshooter where you can change the uh, um, you can you can still assign your digital license that Microsoft gave it to you when you performed the upgrade initially, and uh, there is the option to I change the hardware on this device recently. And when you when you do this, it will straight away bring the um, uh, the window where you need to log in with your account with Microsoft account. Um, basically what they want to do as I said they want to link the ID link the account which some people might say well uh, I don't want everyone to know that I'm using this device or that I'm the person behind the computer uh, not sure if Microsoft are going to change this in the future it's possible but um, it's going to be really simple for you if you have a Microsoft account to see all of the devices that are listed for your account and see what is registered and what is digitally signed for you personally so I'm not going to log in here basically it's if I log in here with my Microsoft account it will show all of the devices that I've linked with my profile and uh, I can I can specify with with just a single click I can specify uh, which device um, is the device that I'm currently using and was for example with the problem so you will select that device and click yes this is the device that I'm using at the moment click OK and it will reactivate the windows that you have so this is a pretty cool feature I think it's it's uh, a good feature that Microsoft implemented that fix fixes a lot of problems that can occur using Windows 10 so you can share in the comments below what do you think about this feature if it's going to help us or it's going to be on more more of the negative side of things where Microsoft still want to know who is using the device and they want to basically add the name uh, into our names into their databases so you can share the comments below if you like the video you can always subscribe and like the uh, my channel and I will try to bring new content and help people with uh, with reviews and uh, solutions in the future uh, so uh, thank you very much for viewing and see you soon